In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite mini schemes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you want to get better at Madden 21, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Research has shown me that only 38% of you guys that are watching this video, so that's almost like 4 out of 10 of you guys that will watch this video are actually subscribed which means six out of the ten of you that are watching right now have not subscribed so if you could do me a favor and do yourself a favor click that subscribe button it's completely free to subscribe on youtube and it just helps out the channel it also allows you to know whenever we release a new video we try to release videos every single day multiple videos every single day um, on our channel so make sure to subscribe if you have any questions about anything you're going to see in this video you can always text me my phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen Okay guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about trips tight end offset. And the reason why is because you see a lot of uh, players in the Madden community right now audibling to this formation. I want to talk about why and I want to talk about what you can learn. So a couple plays we're going to put in our arsenal here. We're going to put the RPO Buck Alert Bubble. We're going to put the, um, and then we're also going to put the RPO Trap in there. And what I like to do is run with uh, PA Crossers. And then some people like level sale. Um, I actually think, you know, there are several plays you could put in here in this other slot. I actually think just the regular um, RPO alert bubble actually makes a lot of sense um, just because of how the blocking is going to set up for this. Um, but we'll, and, and flood is also a really good play. We're going to talk today, though, about X under a little bit, too, um, because of the d specific type of routes. You see here you got that nice corner route. And then if I smart route uh, Chris Godwin, I have that short corner route. So... That being said, um, we're going to run this to the to the right hash. So we're almost never going to want to run this trips to the left side of the or to the to the to the short side. So what that means is, if you come out in the bunch like this, right? A lot of people, um, a lot of a lot of people are going to um, basically expect you to flip the play, flip the play, flip the play, right? Um, so that to be said. This could really, you know, create different alignments, which can cause different things. Because essentially, what you have here is you have a lot of trips tied in concepts, especially if you have Hot Route Master, which most people that are watching this video probably have some type of Hot Route Master play uh, or, or quarterback. Um, if you don't have Hot Route Master, it's not that hard to get it. Okay, but you see, I've got PA crossers, which is similar to PA counter go. I can turn this left side guy into a smart routed post route, right? Um, I could take Godwin and put him on a slant, right? We all know this combo, right? Delay fade, um, delay fade the, the tight end here, and then you can basically run this concept right here. This is very similar to what I actually covered uh, in my Trips Tight End offensive ebook, or not Trips Tight End, I mean, well, it was based out of Trips Tight End, but New England, uh, which if you want to get that full scheme, it's in the description. The difference in what makes this special is these running plays right here. You have multiple runs that you can use. One of the best runs in the game right now is this RPO trap alert bubble. It's very, and the reason why these runs are so good is because depending on the depending on the way that, that people are playing you, um, you can easily, you know, it's it's tough to shoot this right. The shoot that a lot of people will use is they'll do something like that right there, where they're basically going to come to the middle. So if I, and, and, and we could just lab this up here, but one of these runs, to, it's just hard for them to shoot it. You see that right there? It's hard for them to shoot this run. I had a guy that I played in weekend league this last weekend. I'm not kidding you. He literally ran this every single play on me um, the entire weekend league game. And so what it's going to cause is, and I'm going to let the computer run for me here, but I'm going to try to manually blow this up with my user, right? Just like I would if I was if I was running um, against inside zone out of trip side in. And take a look here. It's it's hard. You see how that trap blocker just comes over and picks up the user? It's it's hard to blow this up. So really, what so then what you're going to have to do is when they start running that RPO trap. As a defensive player, what you're going to have to do is is you're going to have to probably do something like this. You're going to 
try to go to this front maybe and then you'll see here that they just i mean it just it's it's tough you really have to kind of trust your user a lot to stop this run and you're not going to be i mean this run is one of the best runs in the game and so you've been seeing people in the madden community especially in the in the club championships what they've been doing is they've been running this run out of a no huddle situation just almost as a like constraint theory play what i've got a i've got a buddy right now um and he's been he was actually on this a couple months ago and he uh has been running this a lot and having a lot of success because it just does a good Good job against the way most people like to play defense so then what you're going to try to do is you might say okay well let's try shifting away then right let's try to stop it like this uh, where we shift our line left and you'll see here it's better <laughs> it's better but it's not great you know so real and realistically what you have to do because these are trap style runs and this is this run scheme i think is really good but realistically i think what you're going to have to do is do something like this where you pinch them because, because, it, but I mean, look, I mean, it's just hard to blow up. It's just that's the point. It's it's hard to stop this run. It's hard to blow up this trap. Now, the beauty of that is that you will then put them in a situation where they're having to sell out against the run, right? They're having to sell out against the run. Maybe they're doing something like this right here, and then you can go to this RPO alert bubble, this buck sweep. This buck sweep is really, really good if you're if they're starting to kind of converge on the middle. In my opinion, the trap is the best way to go. But the buck sweep is something that if they're not protecting against their outside, you can get outside on this and you can run this run. So the point being, these are two runs that are really, really good. Now, when you combine that with like a read option, that actually makes a lot of sense because the read option is more of an outside zone to the left. And you notice that this bubble screen is no slouch. The bubble screen is good. Um, it's the same bubble screen from trip side in, very similar. So the point is, you can basically stretch the whole defense with this scheme now let's say you have a mobile quarterback um i'm not saying that brady's the most obviously brady's not the most mobile in the world but like if i scramble here you see i can either throw the bubble or scramble if i go to read option i could then scramble off the right edge and now have something for that as well but this rpo trap is just really hard to stop i mean it's just really really hard to stop you can run it outside right you can run it inside left um just a lot of things that you can do with that but but anyways um that's the rpo trap alert bubble so next thing that I want to share with you is these two other pass, a couple other passing plays that you can use and concepts. Before I dive too deeply into that, this offensive, um, this formation can really pair nicely with your bunch tight end. So if you if you know that if you guys know my channel, you know that I've actually released a bunch tight end ebook um, that covers it out of Run Heavy. Well, this is a different edition of the bunch tight end, but it's the same basic concepts. Um, and the reason I'm sharing this with you uh, is because this is something that you can do. Um, you can basically go from trips to bunch, right? And then you can also have bunch tight end uh, with all of really the key plays that you really want. Um, and that's why I think Seattle is so good. There's, there's some other playbooks that are similar to Seattle. Um, Seattle has a couple different things. New York Jets is also a similar playbook. But if you wanted to run the bunch tight end in combination with these plays, you could easily do that is what I'm saying. And if you want to get the bunch tight end ebook, that link is in the description of this video. Anyway, the last thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about here is this play X under. Um, I think this is a really, really good play, especially in light of the most recent patch um, to cover three and how cover three is going to play. What it basically boils down to is I could run a flood concept just like this, right? And have a lot of success just because of how this is gonna play. And if you take a look at this corner route now, now this corner route requires you know 20, 25 yard purple zones to be able to stop. One of the things that I haven't talked a lot about is this motion over, though. When you motion these things over, these routes are super, super effective. You take a look at Antonio Brown. This is 90 route running. As you see, gets instant separation against that man coverage, even with Jair Alexander on him, who's a pretty good corner um, to be able to stop that. Well, it's very similar to how, um, to how this play X under works. So, like, if I motion over, if I motion over this, this, this little smart routed corner route take a look at how much separation he gets so now you have motion crossers you have that element to your offense even if you don't have hot route master and if you do have hot route master all the better right because then what you could do is you could play pa crossers you could do something just like this um this is a super simple setup but it's super effective because again these motion crossers from three by one sets do a really good job at beating man to man and as you can see here uh, obviously got you wouldn't you wouldn't want to put the post out there but 
but you can run that. You can run motion crossers. You can you can do all of the things um, that you would want to do because you have obviously Hot Route Master helps this, but also this formation really does. And if you don't have Hot Route Master, you're okay. You can you can move the ball well without it. So, anyways, just wanted to cover this a little bit. I think this is a super underrated scheme. Uh, Yashi was on it early. But a lot of Madden players are starting to look into this as a potential offense. So thanks for watching this video. And again, if you want to get that full ebook on the bunch tied in, that link's in the description. If you want to get my New England ebook where we talk a little bit more about trips tied in, that's in the description. And if you want to have any questions answered, I actually have a free trips tied in um, preview to that ebook in my text membership, which is basically free to you. All you gotta do is text me. My number is in the description. And again, one last time, if you want to pick up that bunch tight end offensive ebook that I just released, such a good offense. And uh, last night, I think I've, in the last two nights, I've had two games where I've thrown for over 700 yards. So it is an amazing passing offense. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys on tonight's stream at 10 p.m. Eastern time.